The first enemy we're going to be talking about is the angler. Now this is a little vicious creature and it will attack you on sight so you do want to make sure that you come strapped. And this enemy is located in the gnarled shallows. I hope I didn't butcher that name wrong but please let me know down in the comments down below. Now, once you spawn in this location, you will notice there is a pretty big tree out in front of you to your left a little bit. You're just going to go to the right side of that tree in that little pond area, and there should be a couple of anglers there. And after you kill them, then you want to go to the left side of that tree and follow that creek all the way back. And once you get so far back in that creek, you will find about three more anglers that you can kill and farm if you need to. The next enemy we're going to be talking about is assault trines, and they are also pretty tough as well so you do want to be a little cautious when venturing around this area but they are located at Watoga station now once you spawn in you're just going to continue on straight and there should be a little wall and you're just going to follow on down that wall and as long as you're near that wall you will eventually see a bunch of random assault trons along this path in this corner here and we can see one right there in fact and as you adventure down further there will be at least three or four more these guys are crazy, man. The third enemy we're going to be talking about is beavers. As cute as they are, they are an enemy of the game and you can go farm them at the Sunday Brothers cabin. Once you have spawned in, you're just going to follow my exact steps and go past this first transmission tower. And then on the second transmission tower is where these beavers are going to be located. The fourth enemy we're going to be talking about is bloat flies. Now bloat flies are a tiny creature and they're going to be located at the New River Gorge Resort. Now there are a couple locations for these guys but there's actually quite a bit of them that do spawn here so if you do need to take these out for a quest or need to complete a challenge then this will be a location you should go to check these guys out. And the good thing about this location is right when you spawn in it's not really hard to find these guys you just got to walk around and eventually you'll gather up a bunch of these guys following you enemy number five is the blood bug now these enemies are a little annoying because they like to just stick their nose where it doesn't belong and these fillas are located at the Southampton Estate. When you spawn in over here, the blood bugs should be located inside both of these buildings. And there should be about three or four of them that you can kill. The sixth enemy is blood eagles. You can find these blood eagles at Ripper Alley. And once you spawn in, the camp is located just a couple feet in front of you. And once you go there, there will be about six to seven blood eagles that you can farm at this location. And there's also many more locations, but I'm only showing one location for each of these enemies in today's video. The seventh enemy is Brahmin or Creature. But Brahmin is supposed to be Fallout's cow, I believe. And these cow-like creatures will be located at the Wayward. And once you spawn in at the Wayward, then you can just walk over to the right side of the building. And they will be located over here alongside a robot if you've completed enough quests. Enemy number 8, the Cave Cricket. Now I would suggest you guys to attack these one at a time unless you're a complete boss but if these guys do bunch up together and attack you you're probably going to end up dying and having to respawn. These guys are located at Tanagra Town and once you spawn in over here there will be a giant tree and it's a little jumbled up with a lot of junk also and we'll be able to walk on top of this tree. Now if you follow exactly what I do you do want to be careful when coming up here because if you do fall you could possibly die unless you are are in power armor but once you get to the top there is a cave entrance and this is where all of these guys are located and they are pretty powerful as you can see they did kill me but there are quite a bit of them about six to seven enemy number nine a chicken it seems like he just wants to play in the water. If you want to go find this chicken, he is located at Foundation. And once you spawn in at Foundation, you're just going to follow me. And we're going a little bit to the left from where we spawn. And when you find a pond and a generator on the left side of Foundation, then you found the right place. And if he don't spawn in, in my case, I believe somebody ate him. But usually he will be in this location. Enemy number 10, the cultist. Now, these guys are the people that worship the Mothman. And I'm just just gonna be honest with you they are bad shit crazy and these guys are located at Point Pleasant and when you spawn in once you get past the bridge basically everywhere in this location you'll see a bunch of cultists you'll find 15 plus cultists in this location and they're gonna be pretty strong so make sure you do have a pretty decent weapon with you enemy number 11 
the death claw now this enemy is really tough and this is mainly for higher level players but you low levels could possibly go and see what he's all about and he's located on the death claw island once you spawn in you will have to cross this water right here and once you cross this water there will be a nest a little bit to your right and when you find the nest he will come outside of the ground and then you will have to fight him or run back across the water if you weren't ready to fight him enemy number 12 fireflies now these guys are pretty much useless in my my opinion except for some events but if you needed to find them they are located at arctos pharma once you spawn over at this location you're just going to follow my steps and once you make it inside the building you're going to go inside the elevator and after you get outside the elevator you're going to go to your left and these fireflies should be located next to the big metal pipe enemy number 13 floaters you guys are going to want to watch out for these fellas because they will be able to shoot projectiles at you that can cause a little bit of an effect to happen on you that will kill you. So be a little careful when going around these guys. But the location for these guys is West Tech. When you spawn in, you're going to turn to your left and you will notice that there's a big satellite dish there and you want to go to that satellite dish and there will be a little bitty line poking up out of the ground and those are the floater enemies and they will come up once you walk past them on the ground. There will be a total of three of them that spawn at this location. Enemy number 14, the fog crawler. These are by far one of the more stronger enemies of the game. The only reason I say that is because they seem to kill me just about every time I seem to mess with them. And they're located at the Dabney homestead and this is actually a workshop. So in order for you to fast travel to this location, you're going to need to go to the valet gallery. Once you have spawned in, you should see the icon of a workshop in the middle of your compass at the bottom of your screen, bottom middle. And it should show you where the Dabney homestead is and you just go right up this hill up to it. And you should find three fog crawlers. Enemy number 15, the fox. These are probably one of my favorite creatures in the game. They are located at Big Fred's Barbecue Shack. When you spawn in over here, you just got to walk a little bit forward and they will be basically sitting there waiting for you. It's kind of crazy. You got to come check out this location and visit these foxes. And there will be about three to four at this location. Enemy number 16, the frog. This guy is actually pretty cool. I like the fact that he glows a little bit and you could put him in a jar and put him in your camp too. But he is located at the White Springs Golf Course. And right when you spawn in, you just turn straight to your left and you hop over this wall and there should be a pool. And there should be about four to five of these frogs that spawn in this location. Enemy number 17, the Grafton Monster. What a ugly fella. He is located at the Charleston and train yard when you spawn in over here you're just going to walk forward about all the way till you get to the very end of this railing here and then you're going to jump over into the very bottom pit here and he should be anywhere within this pit roaming around but in my case he was just in the very back straight ahead enemy number 18 the golfer these dudes are probably one of the cooler looking creatures in my opinion because they're just so simple they are located at gulper lagoon and when you spawn in, they should be on some trees that are right in front of you, mainly a big tree over a little bitty pond area. And there should be about five to six of them over in this location. Enemy number 19, the hermit crab. This is one big creature and it honestly scared me the first time I encountered one of these guys. The hermit crab is located by the valet gallery. Once you spawn in, you're just going to go up to the road and then you're going to turn right and follow this road down. Now, eventually you should see a hermit crab and they will be in like a half of a bus type of deal. I don't know what exact vehicle they are in, but they will be a little hidden just like so. And that will be a hermit crab that you see on my screen. In this case, it was a glowing hermit crab. But usually only about one of these will spawn in this location. But of course, there are many more just like a lot of these different enemies in the game. Enemy number 20 the honey beast i don't know guys there's something about this creature that just don't sit well with me and i definitely don't like the fact that they could just spawn bees in whenever they please 
This creature is located northeast from Fetty's Fears, so for our case, we're going to spawn at Fetty Fears House of Scares. Once you have spawned in at this location, we're going to be heading northeast from this location, and if you look on your map, there is a compass at the very top right that should show you where northeast is. And as long as you follow exactly where I go in here, I'm going to speed it up just a tad bit now. And once you make it to a cave, which shouldn't be a named cave at all, it's just going to have two honeybees that are going to be in there that you can kill and farm if you need to. Enemy number 21, the Mega Sloth. Now Mega Sloths usually don't attack you right away unless you attack them first and I did have to attack them for that clip but they are usually some pretty calm creatures. The Mega Sloth is located in Tanagra Town. Once you have spawned in all you're going to do is go a little bit more towards the right of this big giant tree in the middle here and you should find a Mega Sloth anywhere around this tree and around this area. There will only be one that spawns in this area. Enemy number 22, Mire Lurks. Yeah, none much to these guys other than do not hit them in the shell. Try to hit them in the face or more in the chest. And they just look pretty creepy. These Mire Lurks are located near the White Springs Bunker. When you spawn in, it's actually quite simple to get to these guys. They are a little bit by the snake on the map that you see, that little snake icon. But you will have to go inside of the fence in the White Springs Golf Course area here and you will need to go past these trees and eventually you'll come across a pine where they will be deep inside of the pine to where they're trying to basically hide from you but they'll try to ambush you when you get near and there should be a total of three or four mire lurks in this location enemy number 23 the Mylurk Queen. Basically, this is a Mylurk, but on steroids and about 10 times bigger. This enemy is located at Sunrise Field. When you first spawn in, usually the Mylurk Queen won't be over here right away, so you will need to jump in this pond area here. And randomly, the Mylurk Queen will jump out. And in this case, it actually scared the living crap out of me. And I don't know why, but it was super loud. And there's only one in this location. Enemy number 24, Mole Miners. These guys are just like the NPCs when you play the older GTAs and you put in a cheat code that says give every NPC a weapon. That's basically this mob. They are located at Monaga. Once you spawn in, you're just going to be moving forward and throughout this whole town, there'll be a bunch of mole miners that you can fight. And to be exact, there will be 20 mole miners and sometimes there will be about 23. It just depends if you get lucky. Enemy number 25 mole rats honestly i don't like these creatures i find them quite annoying they are located at gully mine once you do spawn in you're just going to go through this wooden area and you should find a regular door to the entrance to the mine and once you enter the mine there should be about 10 to 15 mole rats that spawn in this location and they will be spread out all the way through the mine enemy number 26 through 31 the mothman the rad rat the tick the Scorched Deathclaw, the Ant, and the Wendigo. These enemies are all located at the Transmission Station 1AT. When you get inside of this location, you're just going to head left past these Rad Showers, which are actually spewing out Rad, so be careful with that. And there should be a Mothman when you enter the second room. This first room here is just going to be filled up with some Rad, so be careful in here. But this next room is going to be where the Mothman spawns. And once you get in past this room, then you should get into the next room room that spawns the tick and the wendigo and past that room you should see the room that spawns the ant and the rad rat and then past that room the scorched death claw will spawn in and there will be one of each creature in this location enemy number 32 the possum i've actually had one of these come up to me in real life and it was trying to start some beef i do not like these guys the possum is located at flatwoods when you spawn in over here at Flatwoods, we're just going to be taking the road straight ahead and we're going to be walking until we go to the diner and the diner is located right next to the church and in the diner's parking lot where the cooking station is, you'll notice there is a possum over here and usually there will be two of them that spawn in this location. Enemy number 33 the rabbit although not very useful i think it's still good to know where some of these enemies and creatures are located the rabbits are located northwest of yellow sandy still 
and we will be fast traveling at Yellow Sandy Steel. Once you spawn in over at this location, you're going to be heading northwest from Yellow Sandy Steel, and you will be basically following the dirt path up until you get to the pond. And usually these rabbits will spawn just a little bit past this pond up here, and there will be about two of them that spawn here. Enemy number 34 the rad roach honestly not much to say about them but they are one of the more iconic creatures in the game they will be located at hemlock holes once you spawn in at this location you're going to turn a little bit to the right and then go through this wall and you should find a little pool of rads or water whatever you want to think that 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 is there should be a couple of rad roaches over in this area around these pools and there will be about eight to ten of them in this location enemy number 35 the rad scorpion now don't think these guys are harmless because they do pack a little bit of a punch they will be located at smith farm well when you spawn at this location as you can tell i got greeted by some rad scorpions and usually they're up by this house and then across the water by their shed and there will be about three to four at this location and it's not too hard to find these guys enemy number 36 the rad stag Let's just say the rad stags have made a lot of things happen that probably shouldn't have happened in the game. They will be located at the Dent and Sons construction. Once you spawn in, you just completely turn around and then walk down the path and the road will eventually break up. Then you turn a little bit to the right and you should see a broken down red barn and right behind that should be about six to seven rad stags that you can kill if you get lucky. Enemy number 37, the rad toad let's just say they got way too many eyes for me the rad toad is located near the grafton station once you have spawned at the grafton station you're just going to follow the stream that's right beside it you're going to be headed into grafton and as long as you go past this bridge you should eventually see a couple rad toads and there could be anywhere from three to four of these guys over near this area enemy number 38 through 40 the sentry the robot the robo brain these guys are located at the Robco Research Center. Once you do spawn in, there will be robots located everywhere around here in Mr. Handy's, but there usually will be a sentry robot in this parking lot that you can fight, but he's in a different area because I was spawned over here trying to get clips. But if you travel all the way to the back here, the back left, and go into this building down here by this road, there should be two robo brains that you could fight. And if you needed to farm them for a challenge or a quest, then they're located down here. And they're really strong, as you can tell, they just one shot at me. Enemy number 41 the scorch beast these guys are not only pretty tough but they can also fly so if you're pretty low level you might want to watch out for these guys but they do spawn over here at these fisher sites when you spawn in you really don't have to go too far to end up seeing a scorch beast usually they'll be flying right above you or they'll be getting out of that fisher site that's right in front of you and there will occasionally be some scorched around here enemy number 42 the scorched they basically are ghouls but three times stronger you can find them at wavy willard's water park when you spawn in over at this water park you just need to make it through the gates and through the entrance of the water park and once you do they'll be scattered out all around here there will be about 20 to 25 scorch that you can kill in this location enemy number 43 the snallygaster these enemies are really good to farm you can find them at the flooded train yard make sure to watch your step when you spawn in because they could just be right out in front of you already shooting your body when you spawn in but usually they're located over over here by these broken down train carts and there's about five to six of them that you can farm in this location enemy number 44 the squirrel this dude is just a really tiny creature you can find them at the white springs bunker once you spawn in you just gotta jump on top of the bunker and in the woods back behind there you'll randomly find some rabbits and some squirrels and there should be a total of five but in my case i only found one so there's a random amount that will be back here but you will be able to find at least one squirrel back here enemy number 45 the stingwing based on how they look they look like dragonflies you can find them at bleeding kate's grind house once you have spawned in all you gotta do is walk a couple feet and go inside the little fort area and there should be about three to four sting wings that you can kill and farm if you need to enemy number 46 the super mutant 
Now, the problem with the Super Mutants is, is basically this was West Tech's Captain America experiment. You can find this enemy at West Tech Research Center. After you have spawned in, you're just going to go to the big blue building that's out in front of you, and you should see all these Super Mutants. Now, there should be about seven to eight Super Mutants inside of here and a couple of Super Mutant Hounds. And a turret also you got to watch out for. And there is many more inside of the building. Enemy number 47, the Super Mutant Behemoth. He is large and in charge, I'm just saying. One swing from this dude and you're probably dead. This behemoth is located near the Twin Lakes. Once you spawn over at the Twin Lakes, you're going to head a little bit right of the Twin Lakes and it will be past the mountains. And you will see that this location is actually not a known location or a location that you can actually discover. As long as you follow where I go in the clip, you should be fine. And this super mutant behemoth will always be here and there should only be one at this location. Enemy number 48, the Wild Mongrel. Basically a dog with too much rads. You can find this enemy at Sylvie and Son's logging camp. Once you spawn in over here, you gotta walk up and there should be about three tents and randomly there'll be a bunch of random mongrels that are outside the tents or inside the tents and typically you see about three to four at this location. Enemy number 49, the wolf. You really barely run into these creatures and I think they're pretty rare to run into. You can find this enemy at Autumn Acre Cabin. When you spawn in, you should be put on a dirt road that leads straight to the cabin. And I don't know what it is with these spawns and these enemies being able to attack you while you're spawning in. But there seems to be about four to five of these wolves in this location. Enemy number 50, the Yao Guai. This is more of the more widely known aggressive creatures. You can find this enemy at the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. Once you spawn in, you're just going to continue on the road and go past the cemetery in this building and in the parking lot there should be one yogwai that you could kill and farm if you need to well guys i really do hope you got some use out of today's video and if you did please let me know down in the comments down below and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because i'm putting in a lot of work so that hopefully you guys can have an easier time in the game